how do you get noticed? Yeah. Right? The way to not get noticed is to go to the club and hope you meet David Doe and buy a bottle of champagne. Please take that again because that please, makes a lot of sense. Please, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> David way, has enough bottles of champagne. The, the way to not get noticed. The, the way to not get noticed is yeah. to go and try and hang out at the club to meet big celebrities, buy them drinks and act like they're living life. Yes! It is the entertainment industry, so you must show, you know, we want to show up, we yeah. want to see you be yeah. a, a star, but, but first, eh? make sure you're doing the work behind it. I yeah. know, I have personal friends who, who've dropped 10, 15, 20 M on a cousin, a nephew, or whatever. Not only is it not enough, but the, the, you know, being a young guy, if I suddenly had a ton of money, I'd blow it. And that's what these guys do, right? I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to get high. Excuse me. Definitely. I'm going to the club. Yo, I'm going to try and get a new car or at least clean up the one I have. But if you want to really do this, your music industry thing, that's not where you spend your money. True. That's not where you spend it. Sure, you got to look good. Make sure you make it to the club one night so you're starting to show up. But first, make sure the music is in place. Make sure your creativity is in place. Make sure you have your business in place before you waste money or yes. time on Yes, and I like that you mentioned that gets high part quickly. Because a lot of these people think that, oh, to be an artist, mm -hmm. you have to... That the first thing is just to uh, start to the so, uh, yeah. Forget that stuff, my guy. Yeah. It's nonsense. It's... Don't waste your time. Just, I would tell you right here. I hope I offend you. You're a fool if you think that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Forget whether you need. You don't need to get high. You don't need. You need to go and study business. It's not called music. It's called the music business. business. So that's the first thing you have to understand as an up and coming artist. Yeah. That it's not just. It's not just vibes. Yeah. It's not just going into the studio and making good songs. Yeah. Whether you're talented or not, yeah. you have to understand that it's a, business. it's a business. So the same way somebody would run a multinational. Thank you. Same way somebody would run a shop where it sells boxers. Yeah. It's the same way you would run that, that business. That yourself as an artist. That's yourself as an artist. Absolutely. Beautiful. And then another thing that you actually do need is cash. You need some cash. You need money. Absolutely. This is a it's a money game. Uh, and then make great music. Make great music. Make great because content. it's gonna be so bad if you do every other thing right. And not to notice. And and then you don't even do the music yeah. right. So you have the lawyers, you have everything, but then whenever listen to the song, yeah. you're like, ah, ah. Yeah. Mm. The music alone is only the spear point, it's only what we see and hear. Yeah. Right? Um, for you as an artist, you need to understand the business. These days, it's no longer okay to not understand what your rights are, what your license rights are, when you write a song or when you're in the studio, etc. So it's very, very crucial that you know that side. Um, I still see people with bad contracts, lamenting, you know, we all see it, you know, on Instagram and, and so on. And then, in addition to that, how do you get noticed? Yeah. Right? The way to not get noticed is to go to the club and hope you meet David Doe and buy a bottle of champagne. Please take that again because that please, makes a lot of sense. Please, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> David way, has enough bottles of champagne. The, the way to not get noticed. The, the way to not get noticed is yeah. to go and try and hang out at the club to meet big celebrities, buy them drinks and act like they're living life. Yes, it is the entertainment industry. So you must show, you know, we want to show up. We yeah. want to see you be yeah. a, a star, but, but first, eh? make sure you're doing the work behind it. And I will tell you, a lot of artists don't like to hear me say this, right? But the first place you need to be is not calling me at Trace and praying I'm going to play your music. The first place you need to be is coming to Max FM. If you live here in, in the area, come down every week, bring your music, get to know the OAPs, play the music for them, you know, and they may not, they won't listen to you first time because they have a thousand of you coming. Oh, thank but the you way for, for you, that. there's a thousand, there's two thousand. <laughs> thank you for so saying that. So don't come that. and and if you get if you get offended that a, an OAP doesn't listen to you, if you get offended that Sarah doesn't listen to you, then you're already cancelled. Thank you okay? very much for you're saving canceled. me. You're a bad person because you've got to understand that you're one of many. So you've got to stand out not by saying believing that you it, you it's supposed to happen yeah. for you, but by making a difference. I promise you, if you come here every week for six months and even if she ignores you eventually one day you bring gala every week that's what you have money to do eventually one day she let's, let's, go, let's go play some music i like that you mentioned this part we'll come back to it and of course we're talking about a whole lot of stuff out there and do it you know guys look look all this forming of showing that you have a manager look do that thing this is the real thing <laughs> okay i'm not in the trenches but i understand what's going on you don't have time to start hanging around with a guy who's out carrying some of the money when there's nothing. Yeah. 
right? Get out there and do it. Sure, if you have your, your paddy or your cousin who's ready to stand there with you, fine, have him, you know, so you form a little gang. But get out there and start doing the actual work. Make the music, hit the streets, let people hear you. Do you take advantage of apps like yeah. Instagram, TikTok? Well, you know, one of the, the simple ways I, I, I go about it is ask the artists what they notice. What do you notice? If you're an up and coming artist, you've got nothing going on right now. You've mm -hmm. managed to scrape up 50K, you've gone to studio, etc., and that's all you've got right now. No, no Yawa. What do you notice when you go on TikTok? What do you notice when you go on Instagram? Do you notice everybody that sounds the same and does the same thing? No. You notice creativity. You notice stuff. So there must be a difference You've between got, you, you and that, that's, that's your job as a, create, as a creator, as an artist, is to give something that people can, can get excited about. Okay. Right? Okay. So, I mean, ultimately, it comes down to the content. What are you making? What are you giving us? What, why should I listen to you? Right? There's thousands that are, are coming up with songs every day. Like you said, the music industry is saturated. There's so many songs out every day. What makes yours a banger? And, you know, if you have, I mean, people are, are struggling to think of the right example now, but there's so many people have done gimmicks over the years and come out with their own way and suddenly out of nowhere, it seems, but that, even that person built that audience over a year. Too. Yeah, even mm -hmm. down to the IRA stars and yeah. some of the guys signed to Maven. These are artists that will just post videos online yeah. and then tag the right people and hope and yeah, hope for the best. But there are conversations around TikTok that I wanted to hear your opinion mm -hmm. on. So people are saying that TikTok is doing well for artists. Like I mean, right now there's even this uh, conversation that record labels are enforcing artists now mm -hmm. to make sure that their songs go viral on TikTok first before they release it. Yeah. And then there are other people who think that TikTok is doing more harm than good mm. to the music industry. What do you think about that? Um, I would say that it's. You know, uh, no. Sarah, do you first of all think that TikTok is doing more harm than good? No, I don't think TikTok don't think is doing so. more harm than good. But do you acknowledge that TikTok might just be doing some harm? It, I think it might be doing some harm, and I think TikTok. Let, let, so I do think it's, it's it's doing some harm. I do think there's some great, incredible benefits, not only specifically to TikTok, but obviously to digital in general. Look, Sarah, I'm not a young man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm experienced <laughs> and so I've seen enough to look at this and, and look at both sides and be able to see a balance in it, right? And on one side, you know, um, focusing only on TikTok, that one's a rough one, right? So again, there's so much stuff out there. So, and then do they pay the right amount of, of rights for the music that they're exploiting there? TikTok is one of the music biggest music platforms in the world already, yeah. right? Just behind YouTube and YouTube is the, the biggest music platform. Even Spotify, Apple, and all that sit far behind how much music is listened to on TikTok, and and, and or if you can, if uh, in fact, let's just say it now, five of our listeners who have viral hits this this year, eh? uh -huh. <laughs> amen, <laughs> so, amen. <laughs> prophesying here, and but that's why you need to do your work in advance. Okay. So you need to make sure that your proper rights are protected for that song. Um, there is such a thing as as performing rights. Um, but for somebody who is not licenses, signed. you don't have to be signed for okay. all this. This is That's this what is I want you this is say. exactly the point. You don't need to be signed for all this. If you contact them, you can get hold of them through other people. Whatever it is, make the noise and say, "This is mine. This is mine." Because people will be looking for you too. Yes, people true. People will be looking for you too and claim it, own it. Spend that fifty k, hundred k to get inside blog to post and say, "Now nah, this guy write this thing. Yeah. Now this guy make that thing." Because people are looking for you when your stuff goes viral. It's powerful when tens of millions of people are listening to you. That's power, yeah. right? At Max FM, we have ten, you know, millions of people listening to to, to radio every yeah. day, Over and that million. means money. That means money because we can help communicate things. We can help you as a listener find products and services and events that you like. So if you are blessed. I'm sorry, when one of our listeners is blessed <laughs> with a viral hit, yeah. uh, make sure that you, you have your, your ducks in a row, you have your, your rights uh, done, you can get it for 50k with a lawyer. Find a so lawyer. So one thing that I wanted to mention, and I'm happy you brought up the lawyer thing, mm -hmm. we've already established that as an up-and-coming artist who mm -hmm. is still trying to push yeah. himself forward, you don't really need a manager. You don't need a manager. You can run it by yourself. Yeah. But one thing you however need... Yes. Is He's a lawyer. a lawyer. You need a lawyer. You don't need a full-time lawyer. Um, and trust, be careful, we're in Nigeria, so there's many fraudulent, fake people True. out there. 
but you can find do do Google search it. Yeah, do or even all the big even all the big um, law firms, Bango Iko Dalo, uh, Ugoma uh, Osage, Uyujiyo, okay, you don't know these names. <laughs> but Google them. These yeah. big law firms are after people in the in the music industry. They will help you uh, make sure that you own the rights to the stuff that you've made. They'll make sure that you know how to make you know to to uh, seize and own your rights mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing it. And if you ultimately start to talk to a label or somebody who wants to sponsor you, to make sure that contract makes sense. Nobody wants to be in a in a bad label deal these Nobody. days. That, those are the old days, mm -hmm. my guy. There's information out there. Go and get the information. Yeah. So that is homework. why you really do need a lawyer. Yeah. And then another thing that you actually do need is cash. You need some cash. You need money. Absolutely. This is a it's a money game. And it's not, you know, anybody that tells you payola, payola, sure. You know, payola is when people are taking money uh, illegally from mm -hmm. a media or something to do it. Doesn't mean media doesn't need money. We, we need money. Max FM, we need money. I need to run this station. <laughs> and if somebody wants to come and promote, I'm sure there's some promotion package you come, come and pay for, right? So don't do all this thing about you shouldn't pay. We're not, our job is not only to promote you. We also have businesses to run. Yeah. So, um... You know, build yourself on on your own, and that's why you talk. We talked about getting investable. So if you uh, let me let me finish the two two separate thoughts. Okay. So one is build your business up, build yourself as an artist to a point where people want to invest in you, and that's when you now need a lawyer. So you make sure that investment and that money that you then need is used properly to actually promote yourself as an artist. I know I have personal friends who who've dropped. 10, 15, 20 M on a cousin, a nephew, or whatever. Not only is it not enough, but the, the, you know, being a young guy, if I suddenly had a ton of money, I'd blow it. And that's what these guys do, right? I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna get high, excuse me. Definitely. I'm going to the club, yo. I'm gonna try and get a new car, or at least clean up the one I have. But if you want to really do this, your music industry thing, that's not where to spend your money. True. That's not where you spend it. Sure, you got to look good. Make sure you make it to the pub one night so you're starting to show up. But first, make sure the music is in place. Make sure your creativity is in place. Make sure you have your business in place before you waste money or yes. time on it. Yes, and artists. I like that you mentioned that gets high parts quickly. Because a lot of these people think that, oh, to be an artist, mm -hmm. you have to... That the first thing is just to uh, start to taking so hard. Guy. Forget that stuff, my guy. guy. It's nonsense. It's Don't waste your time. You're I would tell you right here, I hope I offend you. You're a fool if you think that. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Seconded. <laughs> You're a fool if you think. Bro, it, it only matters about you as a person, your creativity. If you truly know you're out there and you're like, I'm an artist, people need to hear this, my music. Yeah. Forget whether you need, you don't need to get high, you don't need, you need to go and study business. It's not called music. A music business. business. So that's the first thing you have to understand as an up and coming artist. Yeah. That it's not just it's not just vibes. Yeah. It's not just going into the studio and making good songs. Yeah. Whether you're talented or not, yeah. you have to understand that it's a, it's a business. So the same way somebody would run a multinational. Thank you. Same way somebody would run a shop where it sells boxers. Yeah. It's the same way you would run that that's business. That's yourself as an artist. That's yourself as an artist. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Okay, so we're about to wrap this up. We have less than a minute to go, but we've got uh, this lady mm -hmm. who who believes that they are going to yeah. blow what would you tell them about the industry stop think about the business side of it it is a business and you don't have to, if you're an artist if you're the creator you don't have to be the business person but at least learn what's wrong yeah read understand what's going on get a lawyer study the aspect of the business so you at least know what you're going into Right, and uh, and then make great music. Make great music. Make great because content. it's gonna be so bad if you do every other thing right. And not to notice. And and then you don't even do the music yeah. right. So you have the lawyers, you have everything, but then when everybody listens to the song, yeah. they're like, ah, 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 ah you know the other bad. thing. You know the other thing I'll say, eh? And this is also not very popular. Yeah. Um, when you play your music for people, mm -hmm. especially your friends and family, most will tell you, oh, it's nice, oh, it's nice, oh, it's good, it's good. You know what? Don't believe them. All right? You know when you really will know that a song is really great? Is when people are like, ah, give me that song. I want it on my phone now. Yeah. Your friends and family don't want to make you feel bad. Yeah. They listen to your song 
And of course, what they're gonna tell you is terrible, go home. At least one might, and slap you on the head and say, do better. Yeah. But most are gonna say, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. That's not nice enough. It's so what you enough. need to do is make sure somebody who doesn't have any emotional yeah, ties yeah, towards that you. you. And, and you have to do that over time. You have, they have to see you working to start to pay attention to you. Beautiful, this was so fun.